Evening guys, just heading home from all of us strangers. Um, heading home with a crumble to scoff on my own, which is quite relevant to the film actually, given that it's about loneliness in London and I'm off to scoff a crumble on my own uh, on a Friday night. But um, hey, I guess I'm experiencing the film as it was meant to be experienced. Um, yeah, I cried twice in all of us strangers. I thought it was a really touching, um, <laughs> This is a funny start, me being like, yeah, I'm off to be a crumble on my own. I just cried twice at a film about loneliness. Uh, no, but it was really good. It was a real touching film about like grief and loss. And yeah, um, I thought the performances were great. Andrew Scott and Paul Mescal, which by the way, I have a slight problem with trying to imagine that a world in which Andrew Scott and Paul Mescal are lonely and don't have any mates. There's a scene where Andrew Scott's like, do you have any friends in London or something? And Paul Mezcal's like, nah. And I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, whatever, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like the film almost, the point of the film doesn't really make sense when it's, it's those two. Uh, Cause I can't imagine they'd ever, they're just so charismatic. Um, but uh, anyway, I thought, yeah, the performances were great. And uh, I also have another slight issue with like, there's a kind of cav, there's like a, a setup for the story is that Andrew Scott's character is like a writer um, who is struggling to write a script. And then through meeting um, Paul Mezcal, uh, starts to, you know, get into the flow of it. Um, and and through through going back and kind of reconnecting with his parents who have passed, he starts to kind of get inspiration. And I I've never really enjoyed that kind of self-referential writing style, where it's like the film is about a scriptwriter trying to get inspiration through reconnecting with his parents, and the film is about reconnecting with his parents. So clearly. It's an autobiographical story. Does that make sense? Like Andrew Scott is clearly representing the direct, the, the writer of the film quite literally because the writer of the film probably also had writer's block and then through writing the film about his parents probably got inspiration. You know, it's like, it's a bit of an easy um, plot device to just be like, oh yeah, Let's, let's just do exactly what's happening to me, which also happens to be writing a film script. So let's get them to write a film script in the film. I'm just like, why can't you just change his job? Because it just feels a bit, feels a bit obvious. But um, anyway, it's a small thing, which I've babbled on about for way too long. Um, I thought it was really touching. Another thing I felt was that um, I really liked it that the fact that it was like a gay relationship wasn't kind of like signposted front and center from the start of the film as a, as being like a point so like the reason why i say that is because um i think obviously like back in the 90s you'd have the only films about anyone gay would be like philadelphia where it'd be like ostracized from society and all this blah blah and the point would be about Th their them being gay and how that's impacted you, I, you know what I'm saying and then there was kind of a trend in the noughties with um there's a film with Julianne Moore and Annette Benning in it where like the films almost became like it was it was it became like more financially like viable to do a film about being gay but it still the film was still just like about being gay so like I was always thinking, oh, it'd be nice to just see a film where the relationship was a gay relationship, but it wasn't mentioned that it was a gay relationship. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's taken until now to happen. Now, there obviously obviously is some, like, family politics in this film in terms of, like, coming out to his parents and things like that. So it's, it's, a, it's an important part of the story, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I, I am saying... Um, I'm saying it's a very good thing. I'm saying it's a good thing that, like, there's a gay relationship at the centre of this film. 
and um, that doesn't form a driving force of the plot. It just is what it is. I think that's like a good transition in filmmaking and film writing and what types of films are getting commissioned to um, be having gay relationships just kind of plainly stated just as much as a straight relationship would be, uh, which was good. Um, yeah. There's kind of, it's a very dreamy film. There's quite, there's, there's tons of dream sequences in this film that are really trippy and actually ended up being quite disturbing. And um, I'd say, like, if you feel emotionally attached to any of the, like, subjects in this film, any of the conversation topics, I think it could be quite a distressing watch. So that's just a note. Um, it's probably not a good date movie in that regard, um, but yeah really enjoyed it um surprised andrew scott didn't get an oscar nomination actually yeah hope you enjoy it